हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस दिस इज यूजर डिमांड वीडियो एंड यू कैन से दिस इज अ सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर कैन आस्क यू दैट हाउ 1.1.1 कैन कम्युनिकेट विद 3.3.3 हाउ 3.3.3 कैन कम्युनिकेट विद 1.1.1 इन दिस सिनेरियो हियर एज यू कैन सी we are running ospf routing protocol and this is my area 1 and this is my area 2 so every router will generate lsa 1 right so lsa 1 of router 1 will never cross area so r3 will not receive this prefix right in the same way r1 will not receive this prefix because r2 is not an abr this is not an abr router this is problem right if you will make this router to abr router in ospf domain so this router will generate lsa 3 right lsa 3 to share the prefixes of this area into this area and this area into this area right so how we can make this router as abr router so we can create one loopback over here and i will put that loopback in area 0 so router whose at least one interface belongs to area 0 and at least one interface belongs to any regular area that router is known as abr router so once i will create one loopback and i will put that loopback in area 0 this router will become abr router so this router will generate lsa3 and with the help of lsa3 r2 will share this prefix in this area and this prefix in this area right after that they can communicate with each other let me show you practically this is an interview question one of my subscriber faced this question in interview and uh, then he said me to make one video on it how 1.1.1 can communicate with 3.3.3 kaise communication hoga dekho dono different area se belong karta hai or interviewer can ask you this question like uh, how two different regular area can communicate each other in ospf domain right so first of all let me show you ip configuration so i have already configured ip address so ip interface brief exclude and assign here you can see this is my loopback 1.1.1 and on serial 2/0 ip address is 12.1.1.1 now let me configure ospf very quickly router ospf process id 1 and network 0.0.0.255.255.255.255 and area 1 fine now let me configure ospf on router 2 so ip interface brief exclude and assign so here you can see ip configuration let me configure ospf router ospf process id 1 and network okay let me configure ospf on interface interface basis so 2/0 ip ospf process id 1 and area 1 exit interface serial 2/1 ip ospf 1 and area 2 right let me configure router id as well router ospf 1 and router id 2.2.2.2 okay so clear ip ospf process say yes configure terminal router ospf 1 and router id 2.2.2.2 fine now let me configure ospf on router 3 router ospf 1 and network 0.0.0255.255.255.255 and area 1 right now let me show you database of router 1 this is my router 1 so ip ospf database guys there is only lsa 1 right there is no lsa 3 and lsa of router 1 and lsa of router 2 this is advertising router id of router this is lsa1 of router 1 lsa1 of router 2 in the same way on r3 you can see so ip ospf database so ip ospf database there is only one lsa okay why not 2.2 so ip ospf neighbor okay let me check router 2 so ip ospf interface brief 
okay so this is in area 2 this is in area 1 and on router 3 so ip ospf interface brief in area 1 no let me remove this ospf configuration router ospf one say no fine now router ospf one and network 0.0.0.255.255.255.255 and area is 2 fine so ip ospf database now you can see there is lsa one of router 2 and lsa one of router 3 but on r2 let me show you r2 will have lsa one of router 1 also and router 3 also so ip ospf database see lsa one of area 1 lsa one of area 2 but this router is not abr so that's why this router is not generating lsa 3 so 1.1 can't communicate with 3.3 ping 3.3.3.3 and source 1.1.1 see it it will not ping fine now what we can do we can create one loopback on router 2 interface loopback 1 ip address anything 10.10.10.10 submit mask 255.0.0.0 and ip ospf 1 area 0 now if you will verify database so ip ospf database here you can see some real lsa fine now can 1.1 ping 3.3 yes now it's pinging okay and so ip ospf database so see lsa 3 link id 3.3.3 10.10.10 and 23 so ip root 3.3 intra area prefix right so this is how you can make communication possible between two different regular area intra area in ospf right okay so that's all for today guys thanks for watching bye bye if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel that's all for today we will meet soon in next in next video till then stay safe bye bye